Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to be talking about singular and non-singular matrix. A matrix is said to be singular if and only if the determinant of that matrix is equal to zero. Otherwise, we say it is non-singular. So if you're new here, consider subscribing, press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. Don't forget also to hit the like button. So now let's see the difference between the two matrix. I remember this matrix must be a square matrix because you can only find the determinant of a square matrix. Suppose we have a matrix A that has these entries 2, 3, 4, and 6. We want to find out whether this matrix is singular or non-singular. To do that, we first of all have to find the determinant of this matrix. The determinant which is donated by this is equal to, you multiply the leading diagonals, the leading diagonals are 2 and 6, 2 multiplied by 6, then you subtract, you multiply the other diagonals, 4 multiplied by 3, or 3 times 4 is all the same. You simplify, 2 times 6 is 12, minus 4 times 3 is also 12. And 12 minus 12 is 0, and finally you can see that the determinant is equal to 0, and hence we say this matrix is singular. A is singular. Let's test other one to compare the two. So first we have another matrix B that has these entries to 3, 3, and 3. Let's find the determinant B, 2 times 3, minus 3 times 3. Two times three is six, minus three times three is nine. And uh, six minus nine is negative three. And you can see that, okay, negative three. You can see that this is non-zero, and therefore this matrix B is non-singular. But why is this important? Remember, while finding the inverse of any matrix, definitely you have to find the determinant of that matrix. And in the end, you multiply the adjoint of that matrix by the reciprocal of the determinant. And if the determinant is zero, one over zero is undefined, multiplying that by the adjoint is also undefined. Remember, this is the formula, A inverse equals 1 over the determinant of that matrix multiplied by the adjoint of the same matrix. So if this is 0, you know we don't divide by 0. 1 over 0 is undefined. Undefined multiplied by anything is still undefined. And hence we say that matrix has no inverse. So it is very important to always check for the determinant. If the determinant is 0, you don't even need to proceed you conclude by saying the matrix has no inverse. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.